my name is Lydia Fletcher Scholing. That's L Y D I A. Middle name Fletcher, F L E T C H E R. Let's start at the beginning. My story begins about 10 years ago with a song called Can You Reach My Friend. Can you hear me okay? Yes. My sister in law invited me to listen to a new radio station on island, and um, we stayed up all night waiting for the song to play. Off the day, thanks for joining us here on Joy FM this morning. It's good to have you along with us today. Uh, we've got some good news from God's Word coming up in a few minutes, so stay with us. As Lydia listened to the radio, her song came on. Then the next program began, and the next. She remained glued to her radio. In the following weeks, Lydia repeatedly tuned to Joy FM Adventist Station. What she heard filled her heart with encouragement and hope. Through Joy FM, Lydia began receiving Bible study guides. The new truth she was learning made an impact in her life and the life of her family. Soon, she was baptized in the Adventist Church, along with her husband and two of her children. Then, something amazing happened. Behind me, you see a board with names on it. Our study started just one-on-one -on -one with myself and Charlene, the one in red. She was my daughter's classmate and was really searching for truth. So I said, hey, so why don't we just get together and study and we, maybe we can answer some of the questions that you have. Well, the one-on-one -on -one group grew to six, six attendees. And the six of us studied Steps to Christ. For 13 beautiful weeks, we went through chapter by chapter and God moved in our lives and there was a closeness to Christ that we had never shared or never knew before. As Lydia's group realized the power of transformation that came from studying about Jesus, they were impressed to begin another study with even more women and they started making plans. I thought I knew what study I wanted to give. In fact, I was sure of it. I had counseled God, I had advised Him, I had told Him exactly what direction we needed to go. But the Holy Spirit kept nudging Lydia's heart towards a different study. Lydia resisted the suggestion and put it out of mind. It wasn't until 30 minutes before the meeting that she finally threw her hands up in the air and said, Okay, Lord, if I do this for you, you better fill every seat in this room. So she went downstairs to the Adventist bookstore and purchased the study she was impressed to do. 15 minutes after start time, there were only three women in the room. Lydia thought that God was teaching her a lesson to be more reverent in her request to Him. It's then that something happened. Five minutes later, the door downstairs opens. You can hear a rush of women filling the hallway, talking and chatting to each other, walking up the stairs. And after we gave our hugs, and we greeted each other, we all sat down. So I was excited to see if God had really filled the room with and every chair. Lydia learned her lesson. In his time, she just needed to commit to his will. And every chair in the room was filled. Since then, 34 women have studied the Bible with Lydia, sometimes squeezing in tight to hear God's word. And on my last study before I left, I asked each one of them to come up and write a name on the board for a woman that they'd like to pray for. And that's what we have behind me now. As Lydia and the women look ahead to ministering and teaching in the island of Guam, please pray for women around the world who are hungering to hear and learn about Jesus.